biscuit. Got my barbecue shoes on. Welcome to BarbecuePitBoys.com. Today we're cooking up some cheeseburger rolls on the grill. And you can bet they're real easy to do. All right, here I've got about three pounds of ground chuck. And you want to use ground chuck if you can, all right? For best taste and flavor. You know all about that. Now, we're making burgers here. So I have some SPG, which is salt, pepper, and garlic. Uh, putting about two tablespoons in there. And here I've got some uh, diced up onion, right? This will help add some moisture to this burger. And uh, here we've got some Worcestershire sauce. So how about a couple tablespoons? Now, make up your burgers the way you like, all right? You know all about that. We've got a bunch of burger recipes uh, on our channel. You can check them out. Now, here I'm adding a few, uh, few shots of hot sauce. That's the way I like my burgers, all right? Now, give it a good mix like this. Mm, man. Now... We're going to uh, make about one quarter pound burgers. Not particularly big, right? Unless you're going to those uh, fast food restaurants. That's a big burger. No. So we're doing uh, quarter pounders here. You know how to make burgers, right? Now, if you've never had these uh, cheeseburger rolls before, you definitely got to check this out. The same old, same old burgers are just not working for you anymore. Definitely want to make these up and make a bunch of them They'll go down real fast all right you've seen enough of this let's move on all right quarter pound burger patties have been made and now we're going to throw them over direct heat medium hot coals and they're not going to take long to cook Maybe four or five minutes each side, but you cook them the way you like. Now, I've got some sides going on here. We've got some... Hey, man, you grass rats are next. I've got some sides here, as I was saying, mushroom, bacon, grilled onions. We're going to add them to these uh, cheeseburger rolls. Oh, man. Coming out good. Mm. These here are just about done. Are you getting hungry or what? <laughs> just a minute or two. Now while we're waiting, I've got some dough, all right? This is that crescent roll dough. You can find it anywhere, and that's why we're using crescent roll here. You'll even find it in convenience stores. And uh, kind of simple, open up. Now, if you're more inclined to make your own dough, you just go right ahead, but uh, this is real easy to do. You just buy the dough, it's called crescent rolls. Or even better, if you can find it, they're making the uh, pizza dough now in these cans. And uh, it just saves a lot of time, right? Just roll them out. And I'll show you a bit of this. Now, the trick is you want to keep the uh, this dough ice cold before you roll it out. Otherwise, it'll get too soft and it's a pain in the ass to unroll. But you know all about that too, right? Oh, yeah. These are good. And it's worth the effort. Now, the food police might be asking now, well, why don't you just do this in the oven? Well, because you won't get that wood-fired flavor in this dough, all right? Simple enough. Oh, yeah. You do it the way you like, man. You'll get it. All right, enough of that. All right, the dough has been laid out. The burgers are done. Now, you sure as hell know what I'm going to do next, right? Oh, yeah. Hmm. 
take one of these burgers. Man. Then you grab some of those sides. Yeah. Grilled onion. Bacon. How about some cheddar cheese? You stuff these the way you like. Now just work with the dough. We'll easily wrap all around the burger. We're talking fresh baked bread stuffed with burgers. Do another one for you. Or grilled onions. How about some butter cooked mushrooms? Put some more bacon in there. Cheddar cheese on, and just wrap it. Simple enough. These aren't going to take long to cook on the grill. Maybe 15 minutes. Hell, I'm going to do another one. I got the time. You can always use that fast forward button in front of you, man, if you're uh, getting impatient and just move on out of here. This one here, I'm just going to make a cheeseburger. You got the picture, right? Now, trust me, you got to make a bunch of these. These will go faster than your Uncle Charlie's burgers that were on the grill. They're real good. All right, I'm going to make a few more. And through the miracle of time, you're on the grill, indirect, opposite the hot coals, about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. Now, about 15 minutes has gone by. Take a look at that. Nice. Crispy on the outside. Nothing better than fresh baked bread for your burgers. Can you smell that? It smells good. I say it's time to eat. And as always, I do apologize for eating in front of you like this, but uh, this here is Pitmaster Privilege. Mm. So the next time you're looking for a burger recipe for your barbecue, you check out barbecuepitboys.com.